and today I'm here with yet another haul because I went to the thrift store and um, picked up five more books because can never resist them deals, you know? So without further ado, let us get started. The first book I picked up because of the author, I recently read one of her books and I absolutely loved it, so I was like, I want more. It is My Husband's Wife by Jane Corey and it sounds so freaking good. It follows a young lawyer named Lily who ends up marrying a man named Ed and when she gets her first case she meets a man named Joe who she's very drawn to. Joe is a convicted murderer and Lily soon finds that she will do anything in order to prove that he is not guilty. It also follows a nine-year-old named Carla who is Lily's next-door neighbor and she discovers that secrets are the way to get what you want. So when Carla shows up on Lily's doorstep 12 years later, a chain of events that occurred a long time ago come to light and she needs to figure out how to navigate that. I have no idea if I will like this, but I'm basing it solely off of how much I liked Blood Sisters by the same author, so we're gonna see. Hopefully it's a good one, but we never know. The next book that I have I picked up because it is Julia Sapphire's favorite book and I saw it and I was like, she's always raving about how good this book is, might as well get it for two dollars. But it is The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugendes. I butchered that, I'm sorry. All I really know about the book is that it takes place in the 70s and it follows five sisters who basically started the year of the suicides. I have no idea, but Julia has like 80 copies of this book, so it must be good. I do know it's also a movie, so. You know, usually when books are created into movies, they're usually pretty good, so. Hopefully I like it. The next book I have I bought because I've heard of the title before and also I just really like the cover. But it is Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safarin Foyer. The book follows nine-year-old Oscar who sets off on this journey to try to find a lock that goes with the key that he found from his father who died in 9-11. So he goes on this huge adventure and meets a bunch of people. But I was really intrigued by it because it has a lot of like mixed media in it. Obviously now I'm not gonna be able to find any of the mixed media because I'm looking for it. But I love books that have little things like that in it. So I was very excited about it. And also I just think the cover is shiny and pretty and I'm a magpie and like shiny things, so. The next book was because I've seen it around before and I just kind of wanted to see what it was all about and if it actually had good rep because I've heard mixed things about it. But it is Fat Girl on a Plane by Kelly DeVos and this follows a girl named Cookie who gets the chance of a lifetime to fly to New York to show off her designs. She's like a fashion blogger. Then she gets on the plane and she discovers that she needs an extra chair because she's too fat. So she decides that she's going to buy this second chair and then she's going to become skinny in order to show everybody that she can do it. So now flash forward she's super skinny, she's living her life, she gets another opportunity to show off her designs in New York. She quickly realizes that the fashion world is more geared towards very thin people but she wants to expand it to bigger people and people of all sizes and it's kind of the story of that. So as I said I've heard mixed things about it so I kind of wanted to see for myself what I thought of it but it was there for only two dollars so I was like okay we'll pick it up. And then the final book that I have is called Little Girl's Lost and this is by J.A. Curley. It follows a detective who gets on a case where little children are just disappearing without a trace from their beds at night and it's basically him trying to figure out like what's happening is there a serial killer where are these children going and I just really like thrillers and detective stories so that's why I picked this one up I needed a free book so that was this one all right guys so that was my little haul for today let me know if you've read any of these and what you thought of them and I'll see you all in my next video goodbye